the word that people use in my focus groups, affordability. And they add up the last four years, and they look at the price of food and fuel. They look at housing and health care. They blame the Biden-Harris administration for that. Affordability is going to be Trump's strong point, strong suit. And it's a chance for him to say, look at my administration. There was no inflation. In the four years of Biden-Harris, look at how much you're paying. So that's the key issue in terms of the economy. No one's talking about jobs. No one's talking about interest rates. It's all about affordability. And the other key issue, immigration, that's national security. And again, the Biden-Harris candidacy, it's not strong. The, the record of the border and the immigration challenges also benefit the Republicans. Her strength actually comes from her uh, gender comes from her ethnicity, comes from the fact that she doesn't look and sound like a politician. The weakness is that she's going to have to defend the Biden record on these two issues, which is not good. And I'll give you one polling data point. 55% of Americans think that the Trump administration was successful overall. Only 39% think the Biden administration was successful. She's going to have to close that gap if she's going to win the election. Frank, what, what are the odds of an inclin inconclusive result? And what are the odds of a divided Congress and divided government? Um, I think they're very high. I could see this election being 272 to 268 in the Electoral College. The Democrats winning Pennsylvania Michigan and Wisconsin, the Republicans winning the other key swing states, Arizona, Nevada, Georgia, and, uh, and North Carolina. And I just think, and we get a divided House and Senate or a 50-50 House and Senate, and our democracy cannot support that. And the one thing I would say to your viewers is that you can get chaos and confusion by opening up the Democratic Convention, by giving voters Democrat delegates the chance to choose and ratify Harris, that will create a mess for the next month, but that'll be good for her in the general election. Or you can take the route of least confusion and chaos, but then she looks like she's been appointed and approved by the elite in Washington, and nobody trusts them right now. One last point. Only 4% of Americans are undecided. It's this tiny little sliver. And in those three key states, we're going to spend as much as $2 billion on literally one-fifth of 1% 1 of the American electorate. It's mind-boggling, but that's what's about to happen.